Hello and welcome to PlayOnSports.com's presentation of Division II Championship Basketball here live from Fremont, California. Valentina Escanola alongside Brian Vilvin as we are bringing you Division II North Coast action here between the number one and the number two seeded teams here in the North Coast section. The Dublin Gales coming in here with a record of 24 and five. They are the number two uh, seed in the bracket. They'll be taking on the number one seeded Newark Memorial Cougars who come in here with a record of 22 and seven. And Brian, before we get into it, we're about to start the game here. Your expectations for tonight's game? Well, this, uh, these teams are very familiar with one another. They've already played twice this year. The Newark Memorial Cougars winners of both of those previous matchups. That's why they're the number one seed here tonight. They've won by 24 and by 13 points in those two games. So I'd like to see what happens here. Dublin's got to get out early if they want to get their confidence up. Championship atmosphere here from Washington High School in Fremont, California, as the Gales begin with the ball on the tip off. Nielsen winning the tip, spins around, turns around, and puts his first shot in for the first two points of the game. Great way to get things going here for Eric Nielsen, the six foot eight big fella down low, a senior for the Gales. Starters on the floor for Dublin. You got Copeland, Moses, Andrews, McGlaston, and Nielsen. For Newark Memorial, it'll be Frenchwood, Zamora, Jojo Zamora, Damian Banford, Johnny Parker, and Matthew Thomas. Pretty evenly matched teams here size-wise, Brian. Definitely. We got some uh, big fellows on both sides for Newark Memorial. They like to use the big guys. Matthew Thomas, just a junior, but 6'9". And then Damian Bamford, who is 6'6", six, six, but the biggest player out there on the court. He's also extremely athletic. So the Gales are going to have their work cut out for him. Copeland dribble drives, puts up the shot, and he'll get fouled on the way in. Excuse me, that was Moses on the way in. So he'll be able to shoot two from the charity stripe. They got Matthew Thomas on that foul, so an early foul for the big fella and something to watch out for as the game progresses here for Newark Memorial. Moses' first free throw is good. And you talk about a student section right behind us, Brian. <laughs> Championship atmosphere, the Dublin Gales bringing the house. Yeah, this place is electric right now. The Gales trying to avenge a couple of losses earlier in the season and if they win this one then those losses will be forgotten. Moses a perfect two for two from the free throw line as Frenchwood brings the ball up court. Cougar swinging the ball around the perimeter going up giving it off. Frenchwood now dribble drive penetration puts up the layup finger rolling in. Uh, no defending that one that was just a beautifully kissed off the glass there by Joey Frenchwood also a junior but the wraparound up and under, no, no defense is going to stop that play. The Gales setting up their offense as the Cougars try to put a trap on the top side. Ball gets out of bounds off one of the Gales. It'll be a turnover here. Ball will go to the Cougars. That might have been a case of just a little bit too much dribbling by Cameron Moses there. He was being trapped, tried to dribble his way out of it, got through the initial trap, but then uh, fired that pass pretty much impossible to handle right out of bounds. Zamora, left side. As the Cougars, a bit of pressure defense here by the Gales as the big man goes up strong. And he gets fouled. The Dublin fans wanted to walk there. So Damian ba Banford, as you mentioned, Brian, 6'6", only a junior. Probably goes about 2, 245. Easy. Wide body player, strong at the rim. And very athletic. First free throw off the back iron, no good. An early 4-2 Gale lead here in the Division II North Coast Final. As we are live from Fremont, California on the campus of Washington High School. Second free throw, rims in and out, no good. Back the other way, Copeland. Brings the ball up for the Gales. Swings it right side. Trying to find a lane, nothing there, has to back it out, instead they will. McGlaston, skip pass to the near side. That's Andrews, Andrews shot up on his way, air ball, and back the other way, go the Cougars. Zamora all the way, coast to coast. Put it in, boy. Solid finish. 
real strong to the basket. Waited for the defender to go by him. Just that little hesitation gave him enough space to have an easy opening to the bucket. A steal by the Cougars. Back the other way. And that's an easy finger roll layup there by Frenchwood. The guards for the Cougars so quick with their hands, they get a lot of transition opportunities, and they finish with the best of them. Zamora and Frenchwood, they're pretty tough to stop when they've got a lane to the bucket. Jojo McLassen trying to get it off, and it goes out of bounds. Substitution coming in. Big man Spencer Hawley checks in, a senior for the Gales. Valentin, the last couple of possessions for Dublin. We may see a little bit of uh, nerves getting into play here. This is a packed house here at Washington High School, a championship on the line. And one of my favorite players, Sultan Sadiq, out on the floor for the Newark Memorial Cougars. He is a sharp shooter. Reading the backdoor pass as Frenchwood gives it off. Three-point shot up, no good. Nice offensive rebound, and the Cougars will get it back. That pass, a weak pass there by Sadiq. We'll give it back to the Gales. Gales back the other way. Finds the big man. He loses the handle on the way in. That pass was actually intended for Andrews. And it looks like Spencer Hawley happened to go right, in, right between the passing lane. Tough for a big man coming off the bench and uh, getting your hands on the ball that first possession in the game. Zamora finds the lane, takes it. It's no good, and then he is rejected. Matthew Thomas was rejected. They call a foul. That foul will go against Eric Nielsen. That's his second. And that could be big, Valentin. If Nielsen's out of the game, that's a distinct size advantage for the Newark Memorial side. And two fouls were not even halfway through the first quarter. You got to imagine Coach Costello's thinking about Pulling Nielsen out of the game. If he gets a third here in the first quarter, that's a huge trouble for the Gales. They're going to go ahead and take him out of the game now as Nielsen checks out. And checking in for the Gales is Philip Redman. First free throw was good for Matthew Thomas. Second free throw, no good off the front iron. Offensive rebound. Knocked out of bounds. It looked like it was off the hands of Jamira Andrews. I think that's a good call by the officials. Chandler Rockwell and Julian Moncaliano check in for the Cougars. Frenchwood. Guarded by Moses. We'll go on and give it off. Moncaliano, top of the key. Gets double team, gives it off Frenchwood with the right wing. Frenchwood wants to go in, ball gets stripped, and back the other way they go. Nice dish, and the easy layup there by Philip Redman as he just checks into the game and gets two. Both of these teams, very high scoring teams on the season. Newark Memorial averaged 62 points a game while Dublin averaged almost 80, just over 79 points a game on the season. Two high-powered offenses on the floor here, Brian, and I bet the team that scores the most points here wins the game. <laughs> That's a pretty good chance of that. Norwalk Memorial with the slight lead here, 7-6 with 3.39 left in the first quarter of play. Moncoliano called for that foul for Newark Memorial. Two team fouls on both sides here in the early goings. Banford and Dwight Wilson checking into the game for the Cougars. Moses bringing the ball up for the Gales. Gets across half court. Finds a lane, goes in strong, puts it up off the backboard and in. Wow. Pretty move. He just went coast to coast against a full court man-to-man -man defense and just beat his man the entire length of the floor. Ball worked inside, size advantage. Ball is rejected by Banford. Back to the other way. Easy goal, they're gonna call it off. He traveled. Excuse me, McGlaston. McGlaston came away with the block. Yeah, Jojo and then McGlaston. back the other way. Flying out of left field. 
And you see the Cougars, they know they have a size advantage down low there, trying to work uh, the glass, trying to work the ball down low. Well, now they'll have to think twice. With McGlaston out there, it looked like they did have a size advantage. And uh, Rockwell went up strong. Sadiq gives it off on the hand up, unselfish play, and the easy two points for the Cougars. That was Rockwell on the bucket. Well, that time Rockwell was not going to be denied. Beautiful entry pass from the guard to make that an easy bucket. 2.38 left here in the first quarter of play. Valentina Escanuela alongside Brian Vilbin, live from Washington High School. Three point shot on its way. It's going to be an air ball. Bamford coming away with the rebound. Frenchwood gives it off. No look pass inside. No good. Nice rebound there by the big man, Spencer Holly. What a feed by Frenchwood. I know Rockwell didn't finish it, but that was a pretty pass. As good a pass as you're going to see. 9 to 8, Newark Memorial lead. A foul on the hold. It's going to go against Dwight Wilson. Well, Valentin, it's been a, uh, a low-scoring game by these teams' standards. Just 9-8 here with just over two minutes to play in the first quarter. Teams that are used to scoring 15-20 a quarter. Ball rejected by <laughs> Thomas as he checks into the game. Back the other way, Zamora, coast to coast, take it up, put it in. What a sequence. Zamora not wasting any time, goes coast to coast and gets the easy layup. Gales trail by three, 11-8. Cougar lead. Ball knocked away. Up for grabs on the ground, giving it off to Bamford. The Cougars come away with the turnover. Boy, Jojo Zamora is making plays on both sides of the court. Boss went to the left side. Zamora from outside, knocked it down! Bingo! Jojo Zamora from distance. 1.14 left here in the first quarter of play, and we've already had fireworks. Back the other way. Nice move. Putting it up. No foul. A late foul call. So shot's not going to count. It's going to go. Against the Cougars, and that'll put Jameer Andrews on the line. So they called the foul on the original shot. That's why uh, the bucket didn't count there. First free throw, no good. That one against Damian Bamford, his first personal foul, the fourth team foul against the Cougars. Moses checking out, checking in Copeland for the Gales. Second free throw upcoming here for Andrews. And it's good. 14 to nine. Five-point Cougar lead. Well, as soon as I made any mention of this being a low-scoring game, uh, <laughs> Newark Memorial's come alive. Joey French would got away with the travel. Ball goes inside to the big man. Thomas puts it up, no good. Ball up for grabs. Bamford comes away with it. He puts it up off the back iron, no good. And then a foul call in the hole. I think Dublin might have thought that was a little bit of a late whistle. But there was kind of a late whistle in the last possession for... Uh, when Dublin had the ball as well, so. So the Cougars swing on under their own court. Thomas getting it down low, puts it up, no good. Because Bamford puts it up, no good, and a foul called on a push off against Bamford. Second foul in the last 20 seconds on Damian Bamford. So all of a sudden he's in foul trouble. He's got to be replaced by Chandler Rockwell. A couple of bigs on both sides with two fouls. It's a packed house here at Washington High School as we have Division II championship action here on PlayOnSports.com, your destination for high school sports. The Gales in the front court. McGlaston working against Thomas. Pulls up from 25 on its way, front iron no good. Ball up for grabs, here come the Cougars. Ball knocked loose, giving it off. Putting it up off the backboard no good but a foul look at the big man Spencer Hawley on that play hitting the floor gotta love it giving up his body and basically tossing Jojo Zamora about five feet away 
outweighs him by probably 100 pounds out there. Philip Redmond coming off the bench to replace Eric Nielsen has done an outstanding job so far here in this first quarter play, play Brian. He sure has. It was a, a really nice finish the last time down the court. Then picking up that loose ball, taking it strong to the bucket, and drawing another foul on a big fella, Chandler Rockwell, picking up his first personal. And Redmond, a perfect two for two from the stripe there. 14-11, Cougars lead. Eight seconds left here in the first quarter of play. Ball swung left side. Ball comes in, attempted pass. Full court shot off the back iron, nearly goes in. As one quarter is in the books for the Division II Championship North Coast title, and Brian, so far, fireworks, fireworks, fireworks here from Washington High School. The atmosphere in the gym is electric, and the play on the court has been just that as well, Valentin. Both of these teams going pound for pound, fighting hard, and really leaving it all out on the floor. We've seen a lot of guys hitting the deck, and uh, a lot of really nice finishes from some guards down low. The, the big fellas are having a little bit more trouble finishing buckets down low, but the guards have been great around the bucket. The number one seed facing off against the number two seed. It's what everybody expected. It's what everybody wanted to see. The Gales were beat by Newark Memorial by the Cougars. The first game, 86-62, 70-57. If you ask me, you can throw that out the window because it's always hard to beat a team for the third time. Not only that, but especially for a title. Yeah, especially because Basically, Dublin feels like they got nothing to lose here. They beat them one time, and then the other two are washed away. So really no pressure on the Gales of Dublin. It's, it's tough to play against a team that has no pressure on them, well, especially three. a team that's playing so well right now. 85-53 winners against Mount Eden in the semifinals were Dublin. Three-point lead here for the Cougars. Zamora, top of the key, pulls up. No good. Rebound. Cougars. Frenchwood pulls up from 18. On its way, nothing but the bottom of the net. The officials just getting things sorted out. Want to make sure that the play is not too chippy out there. I like to see that. Don't, don't call any premature texts or anything in a championship game, but get the kids calmed down. Let them know that you're under, you've got the game under control here as an official. Copeland brings the ball up for the Gales. Gives it off to McLaston, he kicks it out. Going up strong, puts up the shot, no good. Offensive rebound, Holly. Swinging it to the near side. There's Redman, and he knocks it down. Phillip Redman on fire. And they're gonna call a block foul on the far side on Redman. Seven points off the bench for Phillip Redman, and that's a huge call there by the officials because that's the second foul on Redman. Just 46 seconds into the first, or excuse me, the second quarter. And he will check out. And checking in, back to the game, Cameron Moses. Defense, 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 defense. 16 of 14, two-point Cougar lead. Thomas, swinging a near side to Sadiq. Trying to work the ball down low are the Cougars. As Frenchman, Frenchwood I should say, puts it up. No good. Holly coming away with the rebound. McGlasson gets picked. The big man once again. And a timeout called by the Gales. And I got to tell you, Spencer Holly, 6'5", about 245 pounds, but the kid can move. He sure can, and he's not afraid to move bodies out of his way, and he's not afraid to hit the floor. You got to love that. It makes him uh, pretty intimidating out there if you're an opponent. Do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Well, tell your school to sign up for the Play on Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. 6.49 left here in the second quarter of play. Valentin Escanuela alongside Brian Vilvin. Division two championship action here on playonsports.com. The Gales trailing by two against the Newark Memorial Cougars as they inbound the ball here near center court. Valentin, we've talked about the atmosphere here tonight. Have you seen a better atmosphere for a high school basketball game? Not this year and a travel called on the Gales. But you talk about the schools coming out and supporting their teams and no. getting behind them. Uh, 
what a great way to go ahead and end the season. Not so much for these two teams because they'll move on to the tournament, state tournament. Yep. But what a great way to end up the, the, the North Coast section title uh, season for and, them. And this is the bragging rights, you know. They face each other during the year, and then this is their opportunity. This is the big one for them before this is the, the one state tournament. Yep. This is the one that counts. Both teams work really hard throughout the season to get themselves in this position. And Dublin and Newark Memorial, about two and a half quarters away from deciding who will be crowned the Division II champion. Chandler Rockwell just picked up his second foul, Valentin. So two bigs with two fouls for the Cougars. Holly from the stripe puts it up, no good. And back the other way come the Cougars. There's Zamora. He goes all the way, gives it out to Thomas, and a two-handed jam. That'll bring the house down. 18 of 14, a four-point lead, and there is a foul called. It's going to go against McGlatt. It's going to go against the Gales. No, it's going to go against the Cougars. It's going to go against Sadiq. And that's in the bonus now. Eighth team foul against Newark Memorial. So Jojo McGlasson finds himself at the line. So Jojo McGlaston for Dublin and Jojo Zamora for Newark Memorial. Two like Jojos. It. When's the last time you've seen two Jojos in a game against each other? That's been a while. Free throws are good. Two point Cougar lead. And they can both play. Moncaliano checking in for the Cougars. As the ball swung to the near side, Jojo Zamora pulls up, in and out, no good. Ball tipped around, grabbed by Thomas, kicking it out. Moncaliano thinks about it, and so, well, they'll go ahead and reset here as they pull it back. Frenchwood looking to the near side, finds Hadik, and he steps on the baseline, out of bounds. Turnover for Dublin. Well, Sadiq's almost lucky he stepped out of bounds there because he was about to get called for a charge if he had stayed in the court. The big man, Spencer Hawley, checks out. We got Eric Nielsen back in the game. He's got two fouls. Keep an eye. See if the Cougars try to go directly at him, get him to pick up that third. McLaston goes up. Puts up the shot. He gets fouled. McGlaston, a very explosive player, especially when he gets in that lane. He definitely is, and he's so strong going to that left-hand side, a left-handed player. And that's an advantage a lot of times in high school. You don't see a ton of left-handed players, so sometimes you forget you've been used to all year trying to funnel guys toward that left side, and then all of a sudden that's his power side, and he can shoot free throws three for three today. McGlaston's first free throw is good, second free throw all coming, and it's going to be in and out no good. And, of course, broadcasters <laughs> jinx there, Brian. Always. Sorry about that. Frenchwood all the way. Nielsen goes up for the block. No good. Rebound. The smallest guy on the court. Copeland back the other way. Doesn't hesitate. Puts up the shot. And it goes in. He count it. He oh, gets wow. fouled. What a strong finish by Copeland. And I can barely hear anything now because the Dublin fans are losing their minds behind us. Third foul on Julian Moncaliano. And his free throw is good. Three point conversion. Works for the Gales here. He came away with the rebound right under the basket and he did not hesitate, went straight down court, up strong, gets fouled and knocks it down. That is impressive. And at the puts, high school level. Puts his team back in front. You gotta love it. And it gives the third foul on Moncaliano, so Chandler Rockwell has to come back in the game. He's got two fouls. Ball worked inside by the Cougars. Back to French with top. Gives it off. Near side. Three-point shot on its way. No good. Coming away with it is Rockwell. He puts it up and it goes in. Rockwell knowing how to use his body down low. He also knew that Eric Nielsen wasn't going to touch him. Nielsen's got to play very carefully right now. Moses goes up. No good. No foul called. And back the other way come the Cougars. Frenchwood looking for his partner. Zamora, nice move. Goes up. And that's going to be a third on Nielsen. Not a smart play by Eric Nielsen. The senior's got to know better than that. 
But what a play by Joey Frenchwood. He could have gone up. He would have almost certainly been called for a charge against Copeland. We've already seen Copeland take a charge and what would have been a charge on a travel or on a out of bounds ball. But just that extra pass right at the last second to get Zamora open. What a play by Frenchwood. Dwight Wilson checks in for the Cougars. Checking in for the Gales, Giordi Vizoski. And Eric Nielsen still in the game. 4.15 left here in the second quarter of play. Valentina Escanuel alongside Brian Vilvin. As uh, knocking down the free throw. Here's Zamora. Moses bringing the ball up for the Gales. Giving it off to Copeland. Ball smoking around. McGlaston goes up. He gets blocked. No good. Nielsen goes up. No good. Rebound Thomas. Frenchwood crossover dribble. Goes in. Ball knocked loose. Kicking it out. There's now a little bit of confusion on the court. Offensively for the Cougars. Nice move by Samora between two defenders. Kicking it out. Wilson from the outside. In and out. And back in. <laughs> Three-point shot is good for Wilson. Twenty-four, twenty. Four-point lead again for the Cougars. They've led by as much as five. As once again, Jojo McGlasson working his magic down low and in the lane gets fouled, and he'll be going to the charity stripe for another two. He's three for four tonight. First free throw. No good. I'm going to blame that one on you, Brian. <laughs> I apologize. Unintended. I'm trying to find out here if, uh, if they did, in fact, call the foul the last time down the court on Nielsen. I believe that foul was called on Matthew Thomas on this side, so that's his second foul, but... I don't know that they actually did get Nielsen with his third foul the last time down the court for the Gales. Second free throw off the back iron, no good. 3.15 left here in the second quarter of play. The Cougars with the ball in the front court. Zamora giving it in, ball knocked away by McLaughlin. Back the other way, JoJo goes up and a two-handed jab! Throw it down, big man! Not wasting any time, Nielsen comes away with the block. Here goes Copeland, puts it up, rejected. Nielsen puts it up, rejected again by Thomas. High pace action, back and forth we go here from Washington High School. Wilson trying to work around the defender, will get fouled. Is this a, a D1 college game we're watching, Valentin? This is outstanding basketball here wow. at the Division II level. Blocks galore, getting dunks out there, great finishes, good guard play. Big fellas. Thomas pulling up from about 10, no good. McGlasson coming away with the rebound. McGlasson working against Thomas, gets around him, kicks it out. Redmond back inside of Nielsen. And we have an injury on the court. McGlasson's wrist. And we hope McGlasson is okay. He's holding his wrist. Yeah, That's I hate check, to see that. Checking into the game is Jameer Andrews for McGlasson. McGlasson's just starting to feel it, too. He's taking over here in the second quarter. He's the reason his team's only down by two points. Copeland, right side. Speedy guard gives it off. There's Redmond from the outside, no good. And then miscommunication there between Copeland and Moses. Ball goes out of bounds, turnover on the Gales. Copeland getting an offensive rebound. Probably found himself in a rare situation there. Got a little overzealous. and. Tried to do a little bit too much, threw that ball away. Two minutes left here in the second quarter of play. 
This is a big possession for the Cougars. They haven't scored the last few times down the court. They've got to get something going. Inside of Rockwell. Thomas down low. He goes up. No good. Tipping it in is Rockwell. Nielsen being very careful defensively. Can't get too aggressive with two fouls. Possibly three. I think they just have him for two. They got Jameer Andrews the last time. The foul that we thought was the third on Nielsen. That's why Moses. Nielsen didn't come out of the game. Moses travels. Four-point Cougar lead. 128 left here in the second quarter of play. Valentina Espinuela alongside Brian Vilvin from Washington High School Division II action. I got to tell you, this is one of the better games I've covered all, all year long. Sure is. They picked the right time to do it here. A section championship in front of a huge crowd. Ball goes in to Rockwell, and he gets the easy layup. Just like that, it's a six-point Cougar lead. McGlaston about to check in here for the Gales. He's at center court holding his wrist. The Gales giving it out to Andrews. Andrews pulls up on the free throw line. No good. Ball up for grabs. Kicking it out to Moses again. Ball gets knocked loose back the other way. Zamora going up, puts up the layup, finger roll in. That's a huge turn of events here. Newark Memorial now with an eight point lead, the biggest lead either team has enjoyed here this evening. If they can get a stop, there's a three second differential on the shot and game clock, so they will have another possession before the half's over. They could be looking at a double digit lead going into halftime. 30 to 22, Cougars lead. Copeland. Got to try to take this down to the end of the shot clock. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Copeland from the outside. Three-pointer on this way. No good. Rebound. Cougars. Frenchwood pushing the ball up court. Going up strong. Off the backboard. Count it. And that'll do it. Wow. One half a play in the books in the Division II boys final. And it's a 32-22 Cougar lead here. Stay tuned as we'll be back with halftime breakdown of the first half here on your home for days. I mean, this for high school sports, playonsports.com.
Back here on PlayOnSports.com, Division II Championship Basketball. We are at the half as the Newark Memorial Cougars lead this one 32-22 over the Dublin Gales. Valentina Escanola alongside Brian Vilvin. And Brian, fast-paced action here in this first half of play. Back and forth we went. It was really, 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 really tight up until the last minute. The Cougars really coming away big in the last minute of play. Yeah, with a minute left to play in the first half, the score was 24-22. Newark Memorial was leading Dublin. You look up at the half, it's 32-22. Just a great job of going down, getting quick buckets. Uh, there were six quick points by Chandler Rockwell, and then that bucket by Joey Frenchwood right at the end of the half, beating the buzzer, going length of the court. He knew he could get all the way down the court in only five seconds, got one right off the glass. And all of a sudden, you look up, it's a 10-point Newark Memorial lead, but the game's been way closer than that 10 points. It's been a lot closer, and one of the reasons why the game got away a little bit from the Gale was their playmaker, JoJo McGlaston, going out with an injury late in that first in that first half of play. Yeah, McGlaston had five points quick there in that second quarter, including a massive dunk, going, breaking the lane, getting through a couple defenders, and going up, hammering it home. One of the better plays we've seen all year. And then he came out with an elbow injury. He was out for that last about minute and a half, and it was a huge difference maker. But he went out there. He's warming up with the team. He had ice on the elbow at the half. It's his non-shooting hand, so it's his right arm. He's a left-handed kid. Um, hopefully he'll be all right and get back out there, and uh, we'll have ourselves a ball game. One half left here in the Division II championship game for the North Coast Division II title, and we have live fireworks here from Washington High School as both of these two teams battling it out, seeing who will be crowned Division II champion, and your keys to the second half of play. Well, I think one of the big keys we just touched on is the health of JoJo McGlaston. The other key is the play of the big guys. We've got foul trouble for all of the big guys in the game. Uh, two fouls on three big guys for the Cougars and two fouls on the big fella, Eric Nielsen, for Dublin. As we got a quick travel call on Moses, the same starting five for both teams when we began this, began this game with Copeland, Moses, Andrews, McGlaston, and Nielsen on the floor for the Gales, for the Cougars, Frenchwood, Zamora, Banford, Parker, and Thomas. Losing the handle, losing the ball, and a foul called. It's going to go against Parker. As he lands on Copeland. Got to get a couple of good possessions here to start the half for Dublin. Change the momentum back. They've got such a rowdy, raucous fan base sitting behind us. They've got to get them back into the game. One of the better student sections that we've seen so far this season in the Dublin Gales right behind us. Moses giving it up to Andrews. Andrews thinks about a shot and says he'll drive in, puts it off the backboard and count it. Cut the lead down to eight. Ball goes inside of Thomas. Thomas nearly loses it, gets it off to Zamora. Zamora hounded by McGlass and he gets it off and nearly throws it away. Banford to Thomas. He gets rejected by Nielsen. Offensive rebound there, though, by Parker, and he puts it up and in. From the outside, three-point shot, no good. McGlasson's shot's no good. And then he's being held by Thomas, no foul called. Back the other way, ball is rejected in a charge call. It's going to go against the Cougars. Johnny Parker again. And the You Got Swatted Chan goes on behind us. That's it's a steal 34 24, 10 point lead here for the Cougars. McLaston pulling up from 15, count it. Cougars back the other way, Frenchwood. As he double dribbles down low. So Parker checking out, and Sultan Siddiq checks in for the Cougars. As we just got the second half underway, 6-18 left here in the third quarter of play. Valentin Espanol alongside Brian Vilbin. Defense. 
Dublin with the ball in the front court. Andrews guarded by Sadiq. He goes up strong, puts up the shot, finger roll it in. A six point lead for the Cougars. Ball inside of Thomas. He gets double team, kicked outside. Zamora from the outside, no good. Bamford comes away with the rebound, and he'll get fouled from behind. Damian Banford making his presence known down low. The big man, the 6'6 junior. Thomas gives it off to French on the outside. Air ball no good, and Sadiq gets the rebound. Nice job being Johnny on the spot by Sultan Sadiq there. McGlassing gives it off, count it, and the foul against Nielsen. Great recognition by Joe Joe McGlassing to give it to his big man, Eric Nielsen, down low. Matthew Thomas picks up the foul, that'll be his third. Three point. Play opportunity here is good. And another check in as Rockwell checks in. Thomas checks out for the Cougars. And that could be big here. Again, we've got Rockwell playing with two fouls. We've got Damian Bamford playing with two fouls. Wilson gets hounded, throws the ball away to McLaston up and a two handed jab. Jojo McLaston with the blast off. I was afraid his head was going to hit the rim there. Wow. Just flying. Frenchwood to Wilson. Back to Frenchwood. And he travels. Shuffled his feet before he put the ball on the ground. Good call by the official. What a start to the second half by the Dublin Gales. And it just gets fueled even more by that massive JoJo McGlaston slam. Gale still trail by three, but a foul call. It's going to go against Wilson. So Dwight Wilson will have to check out, and Sultan Sadiq checks in. Four team fouls against the Cougars to just one against the Gales here in the third quarter, not even halfway through the quarter. Nielsen working up top against Rockwell. Will give it to Moses. Moses, crossover dribble. Giving it inside to Nielsen again. He turns around. He gets blocked and rejected by Banford. Back the other way. Zamora going up. Puts up the shot. No good, but the foul. And that's about the first time we've seen Zamora go up and not get the finish. But Zamora has very good body control and creates his shot when he gets hit in the air. In that case, wasn't able to finish, but he gets two shots. First shot is in and out, back in. Nine points for Jojo Zamora right now. That leads the Cougars. Jojo McGlaston has nine points for the Gales. He leads that squad. Second shot also good. Shooter's touch there for Zamora. So we got 19 points combined between the Jojos. Five-point lead here for the Cougars. 4.26 left here in the third quarter of play. Gales in the front court. McGlaston finds his open man outside. To go ahead and shoot it. On its way, in and out, no good. Frenchwood, back the other way, goes up strong. He gets fouled and going against Nielsen. Smart, smart play, Joey Frenchwood. Knowing the situation, going right after the guy with two fouls, giving him three. So now the six foot eight and the six foot nine players on both squads each have three fouls. Joey French would go into the line for a pair. That's a nice play by a leader of this team. And checking into the game will be Spencer Hawley here for the Gales. Four oh nine left here in the third quarter of play. The Cougars lead 38-33 here on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. 
Folks, Play On Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play On Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Frenchwood to go to the line here for the Cougars. Well, Valentin, I think it's safe to say uh, through the last couple possessions that JoJo McGlaston is not feeling that elbow. He's out there making plays for the Gales. Got to love to see that. Frenchwood's first free throw is no good, and that's a good sign for the Gales. He came out in the last uh, half of the, the last the last portion of that first half holding his wrist, his elbow, but it seems like <laughs> the his Cougar, elbow is okay. The Cougars immediately went on an 8-0 run to end the half, so it was a huge factor. Love to see both teams at full strength and uh, see who can take home this D2 title. Six-point Cougar lead. Gales with the ball. McGlasson goes in. He gets fouled. Nice strong take. McGlasson has game all over the court. He's a slasher. He can play down low. He can shoot it from the outside. One of the players to look out for every single time he touches the ball, the Dublin fans erupt in the MVP chant. I believe they gave that foul to Damian Bamford. Three personal fouls on Bamford. McLaston going inside. Looked like it was going to be a lob for the big man, Holly. Goes out the front rim. Either a lob or a deep, deep three-pointer. Probably an ill-advised play either way. Frenchwood inside of Rockwell. Ball knocked out of bounds. Spencer Hawley not being afraid down there, knocking that ball away. He plays tough. I like to see that matchup between Spencer Hawley and Damian Bamford down low. Spencer Hawley came up big for the Gales in that first half of play. Ball comes in. Back to Frenchwood. Frenchwood guarded by Moses. Swings in the near side, Sadiq. Sadiq works around his defense man. <laughs> and a reverse layup there by Sadiq. Puts it in. From the outside, no good. Three-point shot by Andrews. Back the other way, not wasting any time. The Cougars get the easy bucket. And now it's a 10-point lead just like that. You blink. So back to two points, and a push-off will be called against McLaston. Got to be careful. Might be timeout time for Coach Costello. Don't want things to get out of hand. And a timeout called by Coach Costello. So a 10 point, 10 point lead here as the Cougars lead 43 to 33. You're listening to high school championship basketball here on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Well, folks, if you've looked at the calendar, you see that it is now March. I know February flew by, but March means madness around the state of California and around the rest of the country as we hit the section and state championships. March Madness reigns around California and beyond as we bring you action from one end of the country to the next. Join us all March long for championship basketball coverage brought to you by your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. 2.52 left here in the third quarter of play. 43-33 Cougar lead here for the Division II title in the North Coast section. And, Brian, I mean, I didn't even know what to say. It's been a high, high energy game not only with the players on the court but also with the fans behind us and across from us well and a, a lot of times this game's playing out in that fashion where teams are going on runs it's just a matter of who goes on a run at the right time which is toward the end of the game here but if uh, if newark memorial can get another four six unanswered and have a nice double digit cushion then uh, they're gonna be tough to beat the rest of this way nice move by french when he gets rejected by mclaston As he gives the ball off, off the fingertips of Moses, and it goes out of bounds on the turnover. But so what could have been a turnover and a momentum changer here in this quarter 
turns out to be a turnover instead, and back to the Cougars it goes. Well, McGlaston has shown everybody that he is an absolute beast. And Frenchwood, just like that, knocks down the three. That's going to be four on Bamford. So oh, foul. they call the delay of game, not a foul. Excuse me. That was just a delay of game called against the Cougars. Delay of game warning. But the three-pointer by Joey Frenchwood the last time down the court. So back the other way. Sadiq touches the ball. That was out of bounds. And they're going to say it was against the Gales as Andrews checks in and Copeland checks out. Well, Valentin, what I was going to say about that three-pointer by Frenchwood, it's the second time we've seen a three-point attempt by the Cougars hit the rim, bounce up in the air about three, four feet, and still go in. So they're getting getting all the bounces right now, and uh, they have a 13-point lead, a chance to break this one wide open in this possession. And that goes to the shooter's touch and the nice rotation they put on the ball to deaden that ball on the rim and get it to fall in. Working down low inside, a foul is going to be called against the big man, Spencer Hawley. Hawley doing his best down there against the bigger Matthew Thomas. Eric Nielsen going to check back into the game. He's got three fouls, and Matthew Thomas comes out of the game. He's also got three fouls, so. Damian Banford checks in for the Cougars as well. Dublin's got six guys out there trying to have a one-up advantage. Not going to happen. The official saw that one. Siddiq gets the ball down low once again and gets taken out of his hands. And then on the baseline, they're going to say ball will remain Cougar ball. You definitely don't want to get trapped in the corner by Jameer Andrews and Jojo McGlaston. Two quick guys with strong hands that are looking to rip it from you. Rockwell goes down low. Banford goes up, puts it off the backboard, and it's in. Tough shot there by the big man, but he has nice soft hands to go in and make that happen. And those, that's Bamford's first bucket of the game. And it gives Newark Memorial a 15-point lead. McGlaston goes up, puts up the shot, no good. Nielsen's there to go ahead and pick up the garbage, and he gets the foul, and he counts. Nielsen with cleanup duty gets the job done for the Gales. That foul was on Bamford, his fourth personal. So he'll be out for the foreseeable future. And Valentin, the last time Eric Nielsen had an and one, it was at the beginning of the third quarter here. It led a little charge for Dublin where they got right back into the game. Maybe they can do the same here off another old-fashioned three-point play here by Eric Nielsen. Eric Nielsen, a key player for the Gales. Can definitely help the Gales get back into this when that ball goes up and battled for. Three-point play is no good. And back the other way goes C.D. He gets held. And a foul called. It's going to go against Jameer Andrews there. Jameer Andrews. 126 left here in the third quarter of play. Valentinez can run alongside Brian Vilbin. Division two championship action here on playonsports.com. Ball comes in, and they're going to call a foul on Nielsen. You can't be reaching like that if you've got three fouls. Just not a smart play by the senior Eric Nielsen. Four fouls. He's going to be coming out for a while. And the seventh team foul against the Gales. So the Cougars, although we're still in the third quarter here, they'll be in the bonus the rest of the way. Substitution coming in for the Gales. It's Cesar Saavedra as Nielsen checks out. Thomas at the line, first free throw is good. The big man, Thomas, 6'9". Nice release on the free throws. Yep. Last time he was perfect on the first one, left the second one short. Second free throw off the front iron. 
Moses back the other way for the Gales. He goes up, gets stripped out of bounds. 14 point game here. It's not out of hand yet, but Dublin's in danger of it getting out of hand, especially with Nielsen on the bench. And a check in comes in as Frenchwood checks out and Wilson checks in. Saavedra to Holly. Another foul away from the ball. It's going to go against Sadiq. Bonus time. Second foul on Sadiq, but the problem with that, you put Jojo McGlasson at the free throw line, the clock isn't running, and the Gales have a chance to get points with uh, no time taken off the clock. That's first, a good way to get back into a game. Sorry. First free throw is good, and at this point in the games, with so much time left on the clock, if you play clean defense and you get fouled, clock stops. If you're the Gales, you can get back into this one really easy. It's going to come down to free throw shooting. Second free throw, also good. 49-37, Cougars lead. Frenchwood checks in back to the, into the game for the Cougars. He goes up, ball's deflected, up for grabs. Knocked out of bounds. It's going to go and beat Cougar Wall. French went inbound into Samora. And he travels. It was a good idea. He got Jameer Andrews off the ground, but so hard when you're making a play like that to not have those feet just a, a, the slightest stutter step is a travel. Easy call for the officials. Moses with the ball, hounded by Wilson. Bringing it back up to court. Across the timeline he goes. Giving it off to Andrews. Andrews drives in, gives it off to McLassen. He puts it up. He gets fouled on the way in. He'll go to the line for two. 47 seconds left here in the 30, third quarter of play, and McLassen gets himself to the line. Third foul on Rockwell, but it's such a strong take by McLassen. He got an unlucky bounce that that ball didn't go in. Looked like it was headed right for that bucket. So now you look at the foul situation for Newark Memorial. You've got Damian Bamford with four fouls, one of the big guys. Matthew Thomas, one of the bigs, with three fouls. And Chandler Rockwell with three fouls, another big. Jump ball called as Cesar Saavedra and Holly, Spencer Holly, tie up Thomas. It's going to be Cougar ball on the arrow. And a rare pair of missed free throws by McGlasson. Can't be having that, especially when you're trying to come back from a double-digit deficit. 12-point Cougar lead, 41 seconds left. Possession error changes to the Gales. And another foul on the, call, on, on the floor. It's going to go against McLaston. And that's his third. You don't want to put Joey Frenchwood at the line either in the bonus here. Joey Frenchwood, only a junior. First free throw is good. Frenchwood's so, got 13 points, Valentin. One in one situation here, he gets a front end. And is it possible to say a, a quiet 13? I mean, he's been just going about his business and getting his, getting his teammates involved and just been steady the entire time. The junior guard misses the second free throw. He's, he's been the steady hand out there really hasn't made any bad plays throughout the course of the game. 30 seconds left, ball knocked loose on the ground and a foul called. It's going to go against Moses. Moses wanted some help. I think they actually called a 10-second uh, violation against Dublin, not getting the ball across since Newark Memorial hadn't actually possessed the ball yet. The, the clock had expired, and it's a turnover as a 10-second violation against Dublin. Moses wanted some help. He was asking for help. Nobody came back. It was a little too late when his players retreated. Well, now the Cougars can hold for the last shot. They've got a 13-point lead. They'll get the last shot. Guaranteed to have a double-digit lead going into the fourth quarter. Shot clock turned off. Double team comes in. He steps on the line. And it'll be a turnover here for the Cougars. Nice job there by Spencer Hawley coming up and getting in his way, forcing him to go over the timeline. Hawley's been making plays. Nine seconds left. Moses with the ball. 
He goes in, puts up the shot, he gets fouled. Crushed, <laughs> he got blasted. Rockwell blasted him on the inside. See, first foul on Frenchwood, so the Cougars lucky that that one didn't go against Rockwell. Now, the Gales need to start making these shots from the free throw line if they want to get back into this one. They've had some opportunities. Yeah, you can't have wasted opportunities, especially he's got two shots here. The, it is still bonus, but he was in the act of shooting there, so he'll get a couple. And you got to have these. These are huge, huge free throws. 5.1 seconds left still on the clock, so the Cougars can go back the other way and get a shot off. First free throw, no good. Yeah, Frenchwood already showed us that he knows he can take it the length of the floor and get a bucket in five seconds. I'm sure he's very aware of how much time's left on the clock. Copeland checks in for the Gales. Second free throw is good. 12 point lead. Sadiq giving it off to Rockwell. He loses the handle, it's not gonna count. <laughs> but Zamora knocked it down. So three quarters are in the books here in the Division II Championship North Coast section game. And it's a 50 to 38 Cougar lead here on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. Do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here tonight? Well, tell your school to sign up for the Play on Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. One more quarter to play here from Washington High School in Fremont, California to crown the Division II champion here in the North Coast section. And Brian, one more quarter left. I'm sure we're going to see spectacular plays here in these next eight minutes of basketball. Well, yeah, we've got a 12-point Newark Memorial lead. They had a 10-point lead at the half, so they win the third quarter, the all-important third quarter. If Dublin's going to want to get back in this game and have a shot to win it at the end, they've got to get started off hot. The Dublin Gales, number two seed in the bracket in Division II in the North Coast, taking on the number one seeded Newark Memorial Cougars as they'll begin with the ball here in this fourth quarter of play. And go ahead and... Stop it down, Moses. He gets fouled and he gets the basket. Three point opportunity here for the Gales and the, this could be a big momentum changer here. Definitely could, that's exactly the way you wanna start off the quarter. Especially if he can get the three point play here, that would be huge, it would make it a single digit deficit. Looks a lot less daunting when you're single digits much better striking range. Still 7.41 left to play. A ton of time in basketball. This game's still up for grabs. Two offenses that can score quickly and can score a lot of points quickly. With 7.41 left, as we just get this third, fourth quarter underway, Moses gets a basket and one. He can cut the deficit to single digits. Free throw is good. Nine point Cougar lead. Dublin's been averaging 20 points a quarter all year. They've been held to their highest output was 16 in the third. Rockwell gets the pass down low by Sadiq and gets the easy, easy bucket. So we got to imagine that Dublin's ready to break out here. So nice turnover by the Gales. Nice response on the other end. When they can get Chandler Rockwell the ball, he's such a strong finisher down low. He's so big. He's got 12 points. He's scored in every single quarter. He's the only player in the game who's scored in all four quarters. And he's just solid. McLaughlin checks back into the game for the Gales as Redmond has his seat. Cougars with the ball. Rockwell at the free throw line. He almost got stripped. They're going to call a foul on a reach in. It's going to go against Moses. The official came over and said white zero. I think he, number two for the 
Dublin Gales. That's Cameron Moses. So, Valentin, you were right on that. Got that all sorted out now. The scores table, making sure we have everything correct here. And I believe everything is in order. 11 point Newark Memorial lead here. Now they got a little wet spot on the floor. One and one situation here. Should be one and one, yeah. 19 foul on the Gales. Well, we haven't seen Rockwell at the line yet, and the Dublin fans are uh, letting him know that they don't think he's going to make it. But you won't make it, chant begins. Rockwell's free throw is good. <laughs> right down Broadway. I love when big guys can shoot free throws. Rockwell's second free throw is good also. Smooth. About the only thing I did well. <laughs> Some token defense here by the Cougars. As Moses brings the ball up for the Gales. McGlasson pulling up from three on its way. Yes! Ten point Cougar lead, 54 44. Frenchwood in the front court, giving it to Thomas. Thomas back to Frenchwood, left wing, guarded by Moses. Finds Rockwell at the key, gives it up to this big man, Thomas, ripped away by Holly. Spencer Holly comes up big defensively for the Gales. McGlasson back the other way, he gets fouled, puts up the shot, and it does not drop, but he'll be shooting two. Gotta feed the hot hand, baby. JoJo McGlaston scoreless in the first quarter. 14 points since. JoJo McGlaston not wasting any time. Going to the rack. First free throw is good. So coming back into the game for the Cougars is Julian Moncaliano and their big man, Damian Banford. Watch, Banford's got four fouls. Second free throw off the back iron, no good. Ball knocked around and coming away with it is Sadiq. 6-14 left here in the fourth quarter of play. Cougars working the ball around the perimeter. To the near side, Sadiq going against Copeland. And they're going to call a foul on Copeland. And Sadiq will go to the line. So this will be a double bonus situation now for the Cougars, as that'll be the 10th Gale foul. Both teams in the double bonus the rest of the way. You were right, this thing is gonna come down to free throws. Whichever team can get hot from the line. Sadiq makes it look easy, first free throw is good. Rockwell checks in, Bamford comes out. Second free throw, in and out, no good. McLaughlin comes away with the rebound. That was a strong rebound too, that was a grown man rebound. That foul's gonna go against Mancoliano. And it put, put McLaughlin at the line. Fourth That's fouls. gonna be his fourth foul. And you don't want to put him at the line. Like we say, the clock is stopped. It's a free chance at points, although McGlaston has missed six free throws so far. But he's also made six free throws. First free throw, in and out, back in. Banford checks in, Mancaliano comes out. Single digits, nine point Cougar lead. And here comes Nielsen. This is a key player in the Gales offense. But he's got four fouls. But you know, at this point, you gotta put him in. 5.55 left to play. You don't want, the season's over. You know, the, the championship game is over if he just sits on the bench worried about getting that last foul. Gotta put him in the game, let him make some plays. Second free throw is no good with 5.48 left here in the game. It's a nine point lead. From the outside, on its way, no good. Coming away with the rebound is Moses. Sidiq almost hit one from downtown. Moses, double team, 
Working off a pick from Nielsen. Spins around, puts up the shot. No good, too strong. Back the other way. Frenchwood to Zamora. He goes up. Nice tip in there by Rockwell. Boy, Nielsen's lucky he didn't get called for number five. Andrews back the other way, and he gets fouled. If that's on Rockwell, that's going to be number four. It is. It is. Boy, that is big. He has been huge. He's got 16 points. 11 point lead here for the Cougars. Andrews trying to cut it down to nine here on these free throws. Chandler Rockwell coming off the bench to lead all scorers tonight. Rockwell has been in the right spot at the right time. First free throw out the front iron, no good. And he'll check out. Thomas checking back in. It's nice to be able to replace Rockwell with a six foot nine Matthew Thomas. Matthew Thomas only a junior as the second free throw is good. 10 point lead. Gales trail by 10 against the Newark Memorial Cougars. Banford swings it right side, Zamora. Zamora. Kicking it back out to Frenchwood. Frenchwood thinks about a three and say he'll pull up from 15, no good. Thomas down low, offensive rebound. Giving it off to Zamora. He gets stripped, knocked out of bounds. It'll remain Cougar ball. Boy, Nielsen left his feet about three different times during that possession trying to get blocks. That's a good way to pick up number five and be done for the evening. Frenchwood to inbound the ball, gets it into Thomas. Thomas goes up against Nielsen, puts it up, no good. Moses coming away with it. Back the other way. Gives it out to Andrews. He goes up, puts up the layup, no good. His own offensive rebound and a charge called against him as he puts his shoulder down. Lord is shouldered into the defender and gets called for the charge. Valentin, I gotta say, I, I think these officials are having a pretty good game. Most of the calls they're making are the calls that I'd be making, although the Dublin fans don't agree with that one, but also in basketball, you can never please everybody. 90% of the chance when you're the offensive player and you don't have much control of your body, you lower your shoulder, you're going to get called for an offensive foul as Thomas goes up and he'll pick up a foul against, I believe that's going to go against Spencer Holly. I think they, they gave that on to Nielsen. Nielsen, 33. That's number five, yep. Yeah. I mean, don't leave your feet. You can't leave your feet in that situation. So Nielsen will have to check out of the game. Nielsen upset with himself. As Rockwell checks in for Banford. Tough way to go out, senior year. Especially as a senior. Yep. Cesar Saavedra checks in as Thomas hits his first free throw. Again, Thomas perfect on that first free throw. The last couple times he's left that second one short. Ha doesn't use his legs on that second attempt, at least the last couple of times. Perfect. Knocks down his second one. And it's another 12-point lead again for the Cougars. 419 left. You want to be in single digits by the four-minute marker, so this is an a very important possession here for the Gales. Kicking it out to... From the outside, ball is blocked, up for grabs, back the other way. Zamora, one-handed jam. And the way the fans are celebrating, the crowd the erupts across the way from us on that one-handed Zamora dunk. The, the Cougars think that was the icing. To have a six-foot senior go up and slam it down. That's uh, impressive stuff right there. 
With 3.59 left here in the fourth quarter of play, the Cougars lead big here, 61-47 against the Gales. Folks, stay tuned for the PlayOnSports.com postgame show where we'll select our player of the game and have a live interview with that player. That's coming up following the game on your destination for high school sports, PlayOnSports.com. And 3.59 left, a little bit under four minutes left, Brian. The Gales got to get something going here, not only offensively, but they got to get some stops. They sure do, but they've got the team that can do it. High scoring team, they've got 12 seniors on the roster. So this team is very experienced and they know that they've got four minutes to pull off something pretty incredible that'll you know go down in history if they can do it, but we'll see what they're made of. 61-47, the Cougars lead here, Division II championship game in the North Coast section. Moses loses the handle, loses the ball, ball for grabs with Sadiq, gets it off to Copeland. He puts up the shot, no good, but there's a foul. And they're gonna call it offensive interference. Hands over the bucket. So that's a good start for the Gales. I believe that bucket. Yeah, they're saying that it was interfered with by Chandler Rockwell. Checking in, Jordy Vasoski checks in for the big man, Spencer Holly. Matthew Thomas has a little extra pep in his step right now. He's got a height advantage right here. You gotta take advantage of that if you are the Newark Memorial Cougars. From the outside, Zamora off the front iron, no good. And Jordy Vasoski coming away with the rebound to the near side, 10 footer on its way off the backboard, no good. Back the other way, Zamora, two, one on two, puts up the shot a little strong. Moses comes away with the rebound. Here comes the double team. He needs to get help. Tries to go inside, and the fall will be called against Saavedra. Well, Saavedra's hand, it was unintentional, but it came right across the face of Joey Frenchwood, so the officials have to call that one. No choice there. And it was a, a defensive action there, so it'll put Frenchwood at the line for the double bonus. 3-0-3 left in the game, 61-49, Cougars lead. Frenchwood looking to extend that lead. First free throw is good. Rockwell checks in, Banford checks out. Holly checks in, Saavedra checks out for the Gales. Newark Memorial is just so deep. Every time anyone comes out on the court, you feel like that guy can contribute both offensively and defensively. Second free throw, no good. McLaston with the ball, working against Thomas. Gives it off. Kicking it back to McLaston. Finds a lane, goes up strong, puts up the shot, no good, but he'll be fouled. Four fouls on Matthew Thomas, so pretty much everybody for the Cougars, with the exception of Zamora and Frenchwood, the guards have four fouls. First free throw is good. Standing room only here, folks, in the gym. A packed house tonight. Division II championship game. The Gales trail by 12. 2.47 left in the game. And we've been treated to an excellent basketball game, Valentin. Second free throw also good. 11 point game. Get a stop here and get it down to single digits with 245, anything can happen. Little too close for comfort. Frenchwood. Goes off his leg, it's gonna be Gale Ball. So many times when teams try to use the clock up and their offense is a fast-paced offense, they don't give themselves opportunities for good shots. Yeah, get out of sync. And that ball goes out of bounds. It's going to go off of Moses. Second turnover by the Gales in the last minute and a half. 
And Coach Ashmore wants to take a full time out here in Valentin. He probably wants to talk to his guys about the exact same thing you just said. They're a uh, high scoring, fast paced offense. You don't want to get out of system. You want to go down and score. Right now you've got an 11 point lead and of course the clock is your friend right now, but don't sit there and wait till two or three seconds and not get a good look. You can wait, you know, 10, 15 seconds, still play in system, get some good passes, but you gotta have some good looks. You gotta go down low too. Right now they've got the height advantage with Eric Nielsen fouled out of the game. Try to get a good look down low, maybe go after the, crash the offensive glass hard and, you know, see if you can't add to this lead. Yeah, with 228 left, you definitely have a clock on your side with an 11 point lead, but you're right. If you're a fast paced offense, you gotta stay in that tempo, in that mode. You want to push the ball up court, try to get those buckets if you can, take off 10, 15 seconds off the clock and make something happen. If you wait and the Gales play good defense, they can come back right away and score. Yeah. Now, a bad idea is to get the ball and just come up, shoot a, a deep three-pointer two, three seconds into the shot clock. But just don't get out of system. If you got an open look, take it. The clock be begins to wind down. 2.21 left here in the game. Frenchwood with the ball. Guarded by Moses. Finds a lane. Goes in. He gets fouled on the reach in. They called that before the finish, but what a finish with that left hand by Joey Frenchwood. Moses gets called for the foul. Well, Frenchwood's made one out of two the three times he's been to the line tonight. First free throw is good. Rockwell checks in. Banford checks out. You see what they want to do there. Go ahead and bring Rockwell for the defensive end. Put Banford in for the offense. Also checking in is Thomas. Checking out is Thomas, I should say. Big free throw here. Free throw is good. 16 points for Joey Frenchwood. 64-51. Copeland needs to get it across the timeline. He does. Loses the handle again. Another turnover by the Gales. That's two straight possessions with the ball dribbled out of bounds off of a foot. Tough, tough break there. Redmond and Andrews checks in. Thomas and Banford check in now for the Cougars. Ball comes in to Banford. Banford will take his time. We'll give it off to Frenchwood now. 156 left. Kicking it to the near side. Sadiq will dribble it out. Hounded by Redman. Drives baseline. Kicking it out back to Zamora. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Frenchwood gets it now. Frenchwood goes all the way. Puts it off the backboard. No good. Tipped up. Thomas puts it up. And that's going to roll it in, <laughs> roll out. And Holly comes away with the rebound, and he'll be fouled. Wow, don't know how that one stayed out of the bucket. A great offensive sequence there for the Cougars as they take, they take plenty of time off the clock. Now you have 132 left. Yeah, that was solid. And at that point, when you've got a 13-point lead, it's a little bit different inside of two minutes. Then you want to take it all the way down. Bleed that clock. It was a little different when it was 11, and it could be a one-possession game on the other end. Spencer Hawley with a chance to get his first points of the game. First free throw is good. Look for a full-court press here by the Gales on this next Cougar inbound. Second free throw, also good. Perfect. Great touch. There comes a full court press. A foul called against Redman. Bumping into Sadiq. Well, they're lucky that that foul got called so early. So trying to extend the game are the Gales. Yeah. Not a lot of time going off the clock there. Otherwise, if you let them go down all the way, take another 35 seconds off, then all of a sudden you're inside of Inside of a minute to go, trailing by double digits. Can't have that. Johnny Parker checks in for the Cougars, and Thomas checks out. 
Second free throw, good. Can't and foul here. Can't foul if you're Newark Memorial. Got to play good defense. 123 left. Moses trying to go work off on Sadiq. He goes up and he'll get fouled on the way in. Just can't do it. Let him take shots. Just don't let him get to the line and score without the clock moving. In high school basketball, if they make a bucket, the clock continues to run, so you can take off another five seconds each time the other team scores without them stopping the clock unless there's a timeout called. Just can't, can't foul. Put him on the line with the shot clock stopped. Well, Joey Frenchwood joins the four-foul club. It's got five members for the Newark Memorial Cougars. They've been playing with foul trouble, but been swapping in and out between Rockwell and Banford on offensive and defensive ends. First free throw, good. Moses has hit five out of his six free throw attempts here tonight. He's not the guy you want to foul anyway. Chance to make it a 10-point game here. Holly checks out, and checking in is Justin Riller. Riller, a fan favorite when he came in, the Dublin student section. A senior for the Gales, checks in. Second free throw, no good. Banford finds Thomas, back the other way. Thomas goes up and a jam. Thomas gets the outlet pass, and that might have put the nail on the coffin. 67-54 Cougar lead. Andrews drives in, gets fouled, and he counts. I think that one was on uh, Zamora. Can't make a free throw right now. They've been getting opportunities here, have the Gales, at the free throw line. They've missed nine free throws in the fourth quarter, Valentin. You make even half of those, and this is a different ball game. Under a minute left, first free throw by Banford is no good. Second free throw. Good. So a full timeout called by Coach Craig Ashmore as they have a comfortable lead, 68-56, as this is Division II Championship Basketball on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. And folks, stay tuned for the playonsports.com postgame show where we'll select our player of the game and we'll have a live interview with that player. That's coming up following the game on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. And a couple of uh, candidates for player of the game, Brian, that we can think about right now for both teams. Well, on the Newark Memorial side, Chandler Rockwell playing extremely well. Joey Frenchwood has just been under control, been the floor general out there the entire time. Both of those players have 16 points for Newark Memorial to lead the way. And then on the other side, JoJo McGlaston has just been a man among boys, it seems. Every time he touches the ball, something special happens. So uh, a lot of really great performances going on here in this Division II final, and they've given the crowd something fun to watch. Justin Riller inbounding the ball for the Gales as he gives it off to Moses. McGlaston. Working it to the far side, Andrews for three, on its way, no good. Rebound, Thomas. That was a fifth foul, first player to foul out for Against Newark Thomas. Memorial. That's Thomas, yeah. Got him on the push off on the offensive rebound. Thomas doesn't realize that they called a foul on him. He's still out there. 
We're going to have to bring in Chandler Rockwell, who's got four fouls. Thomas fouls out of the game. Rockwell checks in. 48.4 seconds left. 12-point ball game. Redmond. First free throw is good. And Redmond came off of the bench when Nielsen got into foul trouble and had seven quick points in that first quarter of play. Yeah, he had a great contribution. And then it's been quiet ever since. Those were his first two points since those seven points early in the first half. Second free throw is also good. And then Redmond right away comes in and fouls Sadiq. Ten-point ball game. Well, the first two times these two teams faced off, the Cougars won both games. The first game, 86-62. And the second game, 70-57. 13-point final in game two. And a 24-point advantage in game one. We had a player fouled out here for Dublin and the first free throw that went up by Sadiq, the buzzer rang as soon as the free throw was attempted. So they're giving him two free throws from here. First free throw is good. Much to the dismay of coach Tom Costello. Giordi Vesoski checked in for the Gales. Second free throw also good. So back to 12 points, 46 seconds left. McLaston from the outside. No good, the putback is good by Moses. And a quick timeout called by the Gales. So the Gales trying to extend this game. A 10 point Cougar lead with 37.9 seconds left. Play on Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play on Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. And folks, we will have championship coverage throughout the state of California continuing tomorrow it's also still going on this evening throughout the state here in the northern portion of the state we've got championships from seven different sections being competed all around California today and tomorrow so if you're a fan of high school sports check out playonsports.com's broadcast schedule page and you'll be in for a treat this weekend full court pressure by the Gales ball comes in to Frenchwood and he'll get fouled by Moses. Just extending the game here. Trying to get the Cougars to miss some free throws, but it's been tough because they've been in the double bonus pretty much the entire fourth quarter. So every time you foul them, they go to the line for a pair. There's not that extra added pressure of the one and one where you have to make the front end to get the bonus, but here in the double bonus when you get two free throws every time makes it a lot easier and the one thing with uh, the Cougars has been that they've shot free throws pretty well all game long they have especially here in the fourth quarter and Mr. Frenchwood has been no exception he just made his sixth free throw of the game got a chance to make it seven out of nine here second free throw also good got it McGlaston inbounds to Moses. Back to McGlaston. Finding the senior on the near side. Bopped around. Taken by Frenchwood and then a foul called. That shot was attempted by Justin Riller. Frenchwood's got 18 points. He's got a chance at the free throw line here to turn that into 20. He would be the first player of the game to reach the 20-point mark. Joey Frenchwood, only a junior. Tonight, much of a leader on the court. Very under control as he makes his first free throw. So, so very, un very under control, being able to spread out the floor, spread out the offense, and get players where they need it to be and make 
not only create plays for himself, but create play, plays for his teammates. And he is a huge reason this team is where it's at. 20 points on the evening for Frenchwood. What a performance in the championship. 74-60, 14-point lead as Andrews brings the ball up for the Gales. He pulls up from deep three, in and out, no good. And now ball knocked out of bounds. It'll remain Cougar ball. And Coach Costello is going to call off the dogs with eight seconds left to play. Newark Memorial is going to take this one home, Valentin. Newark Memorial looks like they're going to be crowned Division II North Coast champions here as the clock ticks down. Three, two, one. And the celebration begins for the Cougars. The Newark Memorial Cougars defeat the Dublin Gales by a score of 74-60 here on your destination for high school sports. Playonsports.com. Stay tuned for our post-game show where we'll have a live interview with our player of the game, Joey Frenchwood. You've been listening to high school basketball championships here on your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot at this. match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot at this. match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot at this. away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot at this. match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot at this. match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot at this. match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're gonna come at you. One shot at this.
better up here. Ah, that's good stuff. Alright, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard uh, graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Welcome back to our post-game show here on PlayOnSports.com. As I'm with our player of the game, Joey French, with 20 points as the Newark Memorial Cougars defeat the Dublin Gales by a score of 74-60. to 60. And talk about your win, Joey. I mean, big, big game for you guys here tonight. Division II 
uh, North Coast champions. Uh, how good does that feel? That feels great, man. It was a team effort, man. We locked up on defense. We, we shut down um, one of the top scoring teams in NorCal. I'm really excited, man. It's back-to-back -back wins. I'm really excited. Now, you guys faced each other before earlier on in the season. How does that set you up for this game tonight? Um, I mean, we got a lot of tape on them, obviously. We know they can score. They got a lot of athletes, man. They got a lot of talent. We're just happy we get the win. We knew we could win um, heading into it, and we proved to everybody else that we could do it, too. Now, what happened in that late, late in that first half of play before you guys went into halftime? You guys went on a big run right before the minute and a half. You guys scored eight points back-to-to-back yeah. -back consecutively. Uh, what changed in that one minute, one minute of play? It's all defense. It starts on the defensive end, man. Um, that's our whole um, set in um, practice. We're focusing on defense to help down, like I said, on these, um, on these great athletes that they had. And um, defense wins championships, man. That's how we're getting points. Now talk about how this win sets you up for the state tournament. You guys will probably get a higher seed in the state tournament. Yeah. Division two or open, it's, yeah. uh, it's still up for, for grabs. Yeah. What do you guys prefer? Uh, we prefer open, man. We, um, we want to compete against the best. <laughs> You know, um, we're not worried about um, trying to play D2. We're trying to play the best teams and get, like, Matter Day or something from the Southern Cal and head against, like, Sheldon and Salesian because we know they're top of the nation. Now, let's talk about a little bit about the team. Team chemistry, you guys got four underclassmen on your starting five, yeah. man. How good does that feel to be able to play with guys that you know are coming back next year? We know that we're going to get a big win this year. We're going to go far and deep this year, and we have a lot coming back this year, so it's going to leave a lot of momentum. Even if we get state this year, we're going to try to go back-to-back. There you have it, folks, our player of the game, Joey Frenchwood, as he has 20 points on today's victory. Congratulations. Oh, Go celebrate you. with your team. We'll be back here on, on our post-game show to wrap up. We can get a player up here. Oh, that's good stuff. All right, perfect. Prepare a Wiley Ballard graphic. Do you want me to start the stream? We start the stream. Camera three. Beautiful. Oh, we're coming in on one. For more information on how your school can join the Play on School broadcast program, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. Back here on our post-game show on PlayOnSports.com as we have a final, Brian. It's a 74-60 Newark Memorial win and big game for them today. They get a big win here today. It sets them up nicely for the state playoff championship. It definitely does. It was a, uh, an electric atmosphere. Big crowd on both sides. The Dublin student section was just loud and in the face of the Newark Memorial players all game long. But the Cougars responded really nicely. The Cougars put on a great show here tonight and it all started with that great run led by Joey Frenchwood at the end of that first half going on that 8-0 run having a 10-point lead at the half rather than a two-point lead at the half was a huge factor in this game and uh, you know not much more that we can say for the effort that both of these teams put forth it was a, a hard-fought battle on both sides either team had a chance to win there was a ton of talent out on the floor and, uh, you know, they put it all on display in the right setting. And we talk about talent. Four underclassmen on the Newark Memorial starting squad. They come back next year. That's going to be scary. Yeah, that's a, a force to be reckoned with for sure. They've been very good for a long time. This class has been playing with each other now for three years. They've got a chance next year as a fourth year together. Not only a team to be a powerhouse here in the North Coast section, but potentially at the state level and nationally this Newark Memorial team under coach Ashmore has a lot of exciting things ahead well that's gonna wrap it up here from Fremont California as if, as we have a final the Newark Memorial Cougars defeat the Dublin Gales by a score of 74 to 60 for the division two title for all of us here at playoutsports.com for our cameraman Jason Devine and our producer Chris Cashman my partner Brian Bilbin this is Valentin Escanola saying good night here from your destination for high school sports, playonsports.com. One match away from immortality. This is a total team effort. We're going to come at you. One shot at this.